Hey, what is up everybody? It is Tuesday, which means you are stuck with me. I'm JD. Welcome to Tuesdays on Men of the Den. Alright, so as you can see, I am at work right now. I am taking my break to film this right at the moment. Um, welcome back to another week. This week is Random Topics Week, and to kick that off, I am going to do random topics that are generated from a random topic generator online. I figured this is an interesting way to get some topics that I may not otherwise be able to think of randomly, but I figured what better way to do a random topic week than do random questions from the random places on the internet. All right, here we go. Would you rather be poor or ugly? That is a strange question. Um. I'm gonna have to say ugly. I don't care what I look like. I mean, not that being poor is bad, but I would like to have money to like survive. So I'd have to say I'd rather be ugly. I don't care as long as I have money to like live. I don't, but then again, I don't care if I'm poor and attractive. That's a really shitty question. I'm gonna go with ugly. I'm just gonna go with ugly. I'd rather be ugly. Next question. What are some things that you shouldn't say during a marriage proposal? Oh boy. Um. There are so many things. You probably shouldn't say out loud, I hope I'm not gonna regret this. You can think it, but definitely do not say that out loud. Don't say that you're doing this because you have to. Don't say that it's time to settle down or that you are settling. Um, probably really terrible things that will lead to a very, very, very awkward car ride home. Or you might just have to take an Uber home and your new home is probably a box on the corner because your ex is now leaving you there. Next question. Do you prefer to eat out or at home? Home. 110% I would rather eat at home. Primarily because I don't really like going out places. Um, I've said it in my previous video, I'm quite an introvert. A lot of people don't know or understand that about me. I cannot stand like the general public most of the time. I love all of you and the den. I love my family, I love my friends. I love communities I'm a part of, but like the general public is just kind of awful. And I think that I would, I much prefer rather eat at home. I can have whatever I want to in the comfort of my own home, binge watching some new show I'm addicted to on Netflix and chilling with my chihuahua. How often do you nap? Not enough, but like, three or four times a week I'll take a nap and it's usually not very long and it's one of those naps where like you can't really tell you're asleep because you're kind of cognizant of things that are going on around you but I definitely regret as a child not taking the opportunities to nap like when my family says I can nap like I miss that I miss the ability to just nap whenever I'm being told to nap I wish it, my boss in the middle of the day could be like hey, JD it's nap time <sighs> I need to, oh, that would be fantastic. Oh, it's company nap time? Okay, and then we all lay on our cots for like 20 minutes. All right, what kind of music do you like to listen to? I'm a top 40s kind of person. I really like top 40 hits is, is, is a favorite of mine. I also like alternative music. It's something that not a lot of people know about me. Um, and I use the term alternative loosely. I like Fall Out Boy. Um, they're a really good band of mine. Story of the Year was actually my favorite band in high school, if anybody remembers Story of the Year. But I'd have to say anything that kind of ties music to emotion or like a situation. So probably my more unpopular opinion among some is that I will slay for Gaga or Taylor Swift. I love Gaga and Taylor Swift. Um, I've had nights where I'll have a bottle of wine and I'll just listen to Taylor Swift and Gaga on like repeat and I'll sing it to myself. Like my neighbor will text me and be like, you're on a Gaga binge again. I'm like, no shame. Um, what is the first thing that you think of in the morning? My God, do I have to be awake right now? Um, that's usually the first thing I think of. Um, and then I think of where my dog is. And I say that because she sleeps in my bed with me under the covers, but usually she's like enveloped in five pillows and has made a throne underneath the covers. And I can't really tell where she is. And if I move just right, I could probably crush my dog. So I would have to say that I think of, I don't want to be awake. Um, I think of where my dog is and I probably think of everything that could go wrong in the day. That's the joys of having generalized anxiety disorder and panic disorder. You just generally think the world's out to get you and then I worry about crushing my dog and the fact that I'm awake so it's 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 very circular it's a fantastic way to live all right so I will do three more if you could give one piece of advice to the whole world what would it be oh my god holy existentialism I would have to say one piece of advice oh I would have to say it's completely okay to be 
not okay. That, that That's some advice that I think that I um, need to work on myself, uh, but I think that that's a really good piece of advice. Like I know everybody, um, it's easy to say things like be yourself or love your neighbor or don't judge others. I think that's really easy to say, but what I think one of the hardest things for people to understand, accept and actually do would be to know that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not feel like yourself. It's okay to feel misunderstood. Those are all okay things. It's okay to not be perfectly fine all the time. Um, and I think if more people understood that, um, people would actually be happier. Like it's knowing that you're allowed to have a bad day. You're allowed to bitch about things. You're allowed to be crabby. Like who in the world is going to tell you not to be crabby? Not this guy. I'm a sassy unicorn that will cut a bitch if I have to on a bad day, but I don't because crime. What is the least favorite thing about this week? Ugh. So at work, I work at a bank um, and I work in marketing. We are currently under our federal audit. It happens all the time. Um, it's a regular thing that we were federally required to do this once every so often and it's like been a hundred percent my department and they've been here for a few weeks now and they are still here and so I'll randomly have auditors walk into my office and ask me for XYZ and I have to produce it. It's really stressful. Pray to God that you haven't screwed something up for the organization that has so generously decided to pay you for your skills. Um, that's probably the worst thing about this week I'd have to say because it's Thanksgiving coming up and I have some really great plans and I'm really excited but uh yeah the audit is definitely a downer for me all right one last topic let's see what we get are you a risk taker and what is the biggest risk that you've taken I generally avoid risk for the most part but just because uh the unknown is kind of terrifying to me at times but I would have to say that the biggest risk I've taken would be like within the last year I have really started to come around to ex kind of like accepting who I am and doing things sporadically and stepping outside of my comfort zone and doing all of these things and one of those things was like I went to Hawaii by myself for 10 days and I just threw myself out there. Um, I went way outside my comfort zone. I, I traveled by myself. I, I went to luau's. I went, I climbed up mountains. I, I swam in the ocean. I got cocktails with random friends that I met um, on the island. I, um, I really, really threw myself out there. And that was probably the biggest risk I took as a person because I am not, so, I'm, I'm a very calculated person. A lot of what I do is very calculated. And within the last year, I have, I've, I've taken the risk of accepting myself, which is doesn't sound like a risk, but it's huge for people who aren't used to doing that. I have traveled by myself. I've had to let my dog go. I had to put him to sleep this year. That was a huge risk for my emotions because I didn't want to do it. Obviously, no one wants to. Um, I've uh, taken risks at work that have paid off drastically. I not only love my job, but um, I'm looking at, you know, promotions in the future. And, and a lot of that has come within the last year of growing. And I don't mean just growing in my stomach. This has gotten a little bit bigger this year, but uh, but yeah, I have, I have stepped so far outside of my comfort zone. All right, well, that being said, thank you so much for watching this week. Next week is challenge week. Um, and some of the internal grumblings from the den are going to be hysterical and horrifying for challenge week so it'll be interesting to see what we come up with and if we all come to a consensus of doing the same thing because if that's on track you're gonna see me screaming and crying next week um in a comical way for you not so much for me so i hope you have a wonderful rest of the week tune in watch all of the other videos this week everyone is doing amazing topics this week i'm really excited about the videos happy thanksgiving to those who celebrate here in the united states if you don't just eat a bunch of turkey on Thursday and sleep a lot, then you are true honorary American. Um, not that you'd want to be at this point. Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.